it's interesting to wonder what Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, would choose as an app on his Apple iPhone if he were alive today. Little doubt the telecommunications founder would be dazzled at just how his invention has revolutionized communication and how much the mobile telephone has seeped into every aspect of our lives. It was 1876, and Alexander Graham Bell was 29 years of age when he invented his telephone. In 1877, he formed the Bell Telephone Company, and in the same year married Mabel Hubbard and embarked on a year-long honeymoon in Europe. The success of the telephone brought Bell financial independence, but he was driven by a genuine and rare intellectual curiosity that kept him regularly searching, striving, and wanting always to learn and to create. Uh, hello, New York Technical Operator. How are you getting me this morning? OK, man. Um, what sort of circuit are you getting? OK, good business. Um, then will you send me a spot of tone, please, old boy? Born and educated in Scotland, he was the son of Alexander Melville Bell, inventor of visible speech, an alphabet that used symbols to represent human sounds. Young Alexander worked as a teacher to the deaf and started working on ways to translate the human voice into vibrations. And then he came up with the idea for the telephone. Bell began working with electrician Thomas Watson, and by 1876, he had uttered the first intelligible sentence over the phone. Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. Later in his career, Bell worked on a variety of inventions, including flying machines and hydrofoils. Bell also invented the photophone, the first device to transmit messages by light, as well as metal detectors and new kinds of kites. With Bell's father, grandfather, and brother all being associated with work on elocution and speech, and both his mother and wife deaf, his family profoundly influenced Bell's life work. He always described himself simply as a teacher of the deaf, and his contributions in that field seemed to be his proudest achievements. By 1886, over 150,000 people in the US owned telephones. Bell Company engineers made numerous other improvements to the telephone, which emerged as one of the most successful products ever. In 1879, the Bell Company acquired patents for the carbon microphone. This made the telephone practical for long distances, and it was no longer necessary to shout to be heard at the receiving telephone. From early telephones with the hand-cranked generator to the elegant candlestick telephone, right through to digital telephony. Bell's invention has always been as much a fashion statement as a practical communicator. The range of Bell's inventive genius is represented only in part by the 18 patents granted in his name alone and the 12 he shared with his collaborators. With the wealth he derived from the telephone, Bell was able to assist the careers of other scientists. He also founded and helped finance the journal Science, today the premier American scientific journal, and the National Geographic Society. While constantly engaged in scientific experiments, Bell crusaded tirelessly on behalf of the deaf, encouraging their integration into society with the help of lip reading and other techniques. In 1890, he founded the Alexander Graham Bell Association for the Deaf. His most famous invention certainly revolutionized the world, but Alexander Graham Bell's legacy goes beyond the creation of the telephone. He donated millions to schools and foundations for the deaf and spent his entire life discovering and creating.